Daniel at the Assessment Toolbox here. How do you add a login using Bitwarden? Well, when you're on a website and you're creating a new login, I'm going to go up to Bitwarden right here. Here's my shortcut, and this will be your shortcut as well. We can either add an item with the plus button there or add a login. It takes us to the same spot. And it's important that you want to fill this out first before you fill it out here. This is actually what we'll use to fill out part of this. So here we go. Add a login. And this is the website I'm using. These are my friends at Matt and Greg in Texas at amtoplearning.com. The username is going to be what we we'll use for the email address. And I'll just type in something right here. For password, you could create your own. This is where you get to have a lot of fun, though. Uh, I appreciate using the password generator. So this could be my password if I like. I like it. This is randomly generated for each new website. It's going to be unique, and that's what makes this so valuable different password on each website you use, but all you have to remember is your one Bitwarden password. So you can adjust the length here, and I always make sure these boxes are checked, but if your website doesn't allow symbols, for instance, you can just unclick that, and that would, uh, and then regenerate a password there. But I like this guy. That's, that's a great password for me. I'm going to select it, and now save. Okay, here's the magic of Bitwarden. I'm going to, on my keyboard, push Control, Shift, L, and it's going to automatically populate my email address and password and confirm the password there. So I would need to finish um, creating the rest of the sign-in info here, but here's the beautiful thing. When I've done that and I've confirmed my email, then I go back here and when I log in for the, uh, the next time, Control, Shift, L again, booyah. It's all there. I don't have to remember my amazing, crazy password, which I could look back up here. I don't have to remember this guy at all because this is saved in Bitwarden. And once I'm logged into my Bitwarden account each time I log in, then this can automatically load with Control Shift L. So if this was helpful for you, please give a thumbs up, like it, and add any comments, ask any more questions if you have any in the comments below.